big, make it bigger any way you like. See, look at this little cheese pull we got going here. I'm seeing how far I can take. Oh, okay. <coughs> no, this really is, this is excellent. This is next level. And you know what else I love? Just a little drizzle of barbecue sauce on top. Yep. It really, I don't know, it gives a little sweet dimension to it, you know? Mm. Man, this is great. Did you get the smoke flavor? I, of the yeah, yes, yep. I was going to say. Hey friends, Greg Hudson here on a beautiful day in a lovely town called Holly Springs, North Carolina. And man, we have found the spot, the community hub. Well, I've even heard it whispered in hushed tones that it's kind of like the local Cheers. It's a place where the food is always scratch made and there is no such thing as a stranger. Just going to grab a bite, maybe a drink at My Way Tavern. Jordan, how are you? Hi, Greg. How are you doing today? Wonderful. My sister's name's Jordan, so I like Very you already. Cool. Very cool. Love that for her. Have you tried our elk tacos yet? No. So okay, I hear that you guys. It, it's this is the like the local spot. This is where yes. the the community comes to gather to get together. Yeah. But I also heard that the food here is scratch made. Yes. And you, did you say elk tacos? Elk tacos. It's our monthly feature for this month of May. Now it's not very often on ABR that you see me eat elk. I don't even know if I have before. But an elk taco for sure, this is a first. Gotta try it. Got some pickled onion on there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? That is excellent. Yeah. And hey, listen, don't be scared off by the word elk. It's very flavorful, almost mm -hmm. smoky to a point. Might be that aioli that's mixed in there too. Yeah, our aioli is really good here. It's one of my favorite things on what? the menu. I was gonna say, this has a little kick to it, Jordan. A little bit. Is sriracha. It, what, what, oh, some sriracha in there. Yeah. Man, this, I mean, it just looks gorgeous, too. Just the presentation on this stuff is, is excellent. But I need to hear about what this means to the community and really to you guys. Yeah. Well, in my way, it's essentially the cheers of Holly Springs. The first bar, really, that was ever open here. It's been here for 13 years now. It's just the neighborhood watering hole. Everybody comes here. And it, yeah, I see a lot of people. Does everybody know each other here? Yeah! Now we're at a cheers. You guys are allowed to keep drinking. We're just over here having some fun talking about food. I like this place already, man. Yeah, everybody knows your name. This is great. What else can you expect food-wise here? Clearly, we got a lot of, we're amongst friends, which I enjoy. Yes, absolutely. Well, if you go over there, Andrew and Nick, our owners, have a bunch of food over there for you guys. How are you guys? This is how I've been waiting to meet. Nick, yes. Thank you. Ben, great to see you. Now, er, listen. This looks incredible. This looks that. Then I'll to be honest. So I walk in. I go to meet Jordan. But out of the corner of my eye, in my peripherals, I saw some mac and cheese. Yeah. Yep. Tell me about it. Uh, this is our baby back pack. It's made with our baby back ribs, um, some cheese sauce, barbecue sauce, topped with some chives. So. Slow baby cooking. back ribs yes. and mac and cheese. Yes. yes. Am I gonna get a bone in there? Or no, what? no, you're free. Nope. You're free. Okay. Dig in. Dig in. I was gonna say I'll, I'll put my hand in there. So we have uh, about eight different signature mac and cheeses, and we actually got nominated top ten in the state of North Carolina for our mac and cheeses. Really? Yep. In the whole state. The whole state. Right. Not just here in town. That's yep. Yeah. Well, I guess when you know what? Listen, if you're putting baby back ribs in your mac and cheese, then chances are it's gonna be pretty good. Awesome and you guys do a lot from scratch here, right? Yep. Virtually everything. Sauces, yep, top 10 for sure. <laughs> I, I, I think they might have undersold you on the 10. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah, we gave you the low calorie one too. <laughs> That's fine with me, I don't think you did. But with the My Way, with the theme, you can customize mac and cheeses and things like that here. I mean, I saw the menu. How many different types do you have on the menu for the mac and cheese? Yeah, we've got eight of those. We'll, we'll fluff up anything you want it. One of the reasons we made it my way, whether it's a hot dog or, again, the mac and cheeses, build your own burger. We'll, uh, we'll take it down or we'll make it bigger any way you like. See, look at this little cheese pull we got going here. I'm seeing how far I can take. Oh, okay. <coughs> no, this really is, this is excellent. This is next level. And you know what else I love? 
just a little drizzle of barbecue sauce on top. Yep. It really, I don't know, it gives a little sweet dimension to it, you know? Mm. Man, this is great. Did you get the smoke flavor? Of the, yes, yep. I was gonna say. It adds that smokiness to it with that, with those ribs. Are you guys doing those in house too? Absolutely. Man, we slow cook them. And I'm always a sucker for wings. Yes. So what's going on with your wings here, man? Well, Are like these award winners as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. Won best wings, been voted best wings, and we'd like Jake to come. Jake, yeah, come and talk about it. Jake, hey there. How are you, man? I'm Greg. Greg, Greg's nice to meet you. You too, my friend. So you're the wing guy. You're, I, I, apparently, there's a story behind. Apparently, these. yes, there is a there's a nice story behind these wings. So one of our managers that started my way with us, his name was Jeff, and he absolutely loved spicy things. Like he just my would, kind of guy. Yeah, like would kill for it. Really, you know. So. Uh, for years, he's wanted us to make the spicier wings. He, he wanted us to do like a, I guess a club almost. Um, yes. But anyways, Jeff unfortunately passed away in 2016. Mm -hmm. And um, kind of as a remembrance towards him, we, we made the spiciest wing we could at the time and we called them El Jefe wings. Oh, so these man. are um, ghost pepper wings with- uh, You want some water? I'm already sweating, brother. <laughs> Yeah, go sit in front of them. Ghost pepper, habaneros, uh, some different serranos, chilies in it. Uh, but we make it at, in in house. So. And this is this is after uh, El Jefe Jeff himself, El Jefe the boss. The boss. The, the yep. boss that means. Yep. Means the, the boss. boss. Yeah, that's right. That is him. Yeah, so. Great. And then they won some awards too, right? Oh, yes. Oh man, El Jefe. Yeah. This one's for you, brother. I normally wouldn't eat these with this many spices in them, but for you, my friend. These are jumbo wings too, man. Yes. You oh, do yeah. not skip on the wings that you no, get here. Can't do that. <laughs> he definitely likes spicy. Oh yeah. Get you at the end, right? Yep. Yeah. He created the sauce, you said? Yes, sir. <laughs> These really are great. Yeah, so we got I mean, another. Love to eat, but yeah, you can see. I know you can see it. I know it's coming <laughs> down right now. What's what spices and peppers did you say were in here? So the ghost pepper is the main pepper we use, and we use habaneros. We use serranos in it. That's short. Um, yeah. like, listen, ghost pepper and serrano. You don't need to say anymore, Jake. It's yeah. Hollywood. Ghost pepper and right habaneros. There, I mean, those are the two top ones that we use. And one we use enough. Time. So. Those really are good. And oh, there, hit me again. But it's a very a, lingering. A awesome little taste there, though, helps me out so we get a little creaminess in there with me. Yeah. Well, listen, when I walked in, I talked to Jordan, as you saw. This is the Cheers of Town, right? What does that mean from your perspective? What's that all about? I mean, truthfully, Nikki and I have lived in this town for over 20 years. Um, so when. She and I had been in the restaurant business our own our whole lives, different places. We knew we wanted to open this place up. And being a part of the community, we knew that this town needed something like this. Yeah. Long time ago, that was a risk. Going on 14 years, this place. Man. Um, but we did it, and the community sucked us up, and, and we gave it right back to them. So you've had this now, you said, almost 14 years. Yes, sir. What was, man, so gosh. Taking it back to 2010, let's call it. What was this town like back then? It was it was tiny. There was only a few places open. Uh, it's about a quarter of the amount of people that are here now. They like I was going to ask you like population wise. It's about, it about seven thousand. Seven, but but this was still what you built, and what you had, right? Yes. For a town of seven thousand, you guys just see the the vision long term of what this could be, or what? We knew Holly Springs was going to blow up, but maybe not to this extent. Yeah. Um, so getting in here, pretty much being the first restaurant and bar, um, we claimed our state, you know, staked our claim. I think you've done a great job because everybody here seems to be having a great time. And I mean, it, I mean, even just the big cheer when we walked in the door and said hello, like that's what you want it to feel like when you walk into a, a restaurant or bar. And I love that you're doing scratch made food too. Absolutely. It's, it's great. All right, the dogs, I see some dogs in the menu too. Yes. These are two of our regional dogs. We have our Tucson dog and our Chicago dog. All the Chicago with the, with all the peppers on yeah, there. You guys classic. are just trying to crush me with the peppers. Sport pepper, man. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. 
And is this another one that you can sort of customize when it comes to the hot dogs? Because looking at your menu, man, I mean, you've got burgers on there with all different types. I know you've won awards for those. The mac and cheese is customizable. And then the hot dogs as well. Yep. We'll do that. Out, you know, that, that old battle of the hot dog should only have ketchup or a hot dog should only have mustard. If you're that person, we'll do that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Or you get get it the you the, get it my the, way. Yep. Right. You my come way. in, you get it my way. Whatever your way is. <laughs> so, been here for that long, and um, do you guys have? A, I would imagine by now, if you call it a cheers bar, a lot of regulars that come in. Oh, absolutely. People are what make highways special. The staff and the customers. People like to talk about the energy when you walk in. That's the first thing we noticed. I mean, before we even saw how great the food was doing everything from scratch, the first thing you notice are, are the people and the energy that's in here. That yes. Line. Yep. Okay. We want it to be an experience from the time you walk in to the time you leave. Well, and this is an experience when you have a hot dog with like two inches of bacon sticking out. That's what I love to see. Yeah. What, what's the, what dog is this? Tucson. Tucson. So you got bacon, you got pico de gallo, mustard, and barbecue sauce. I like that combo. I like that combo. You seeing this? And I love that you're not skimping on the bacon on me. Gotta have swine. A ton of bacon on there. <laughs> All right, let's give this bad boy a try. What do you think? I love that. You know what I think I like the most? The bacon, obviously, people love. But no, seriously. The mustard mixing in with a little bit of that barbecue sauce. It's like it creates its own sauce. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Right? And I love the way that it's presented too, because I really do feel like I'm getting a little bit of ingredients in every single bite. That's what I like to see too. Still sweating from the wings from yes. El Jefe over there though. <laughs> well, man, I, It'll I, linger. I love what this place represents. I, I do, and this is the kind of place that I think every community wishes that they had. So if, it, if you don't mind, I might pull some of your regulars aside to see what they think of you guys. Yeah, you got it. Right, I'm taking the dog with me. <laughs> Well, listen, I couldn't come to this place without sitting with some locals. That's what this place is all about. It's about the community. And I found two of the best ambassadors for this place. This is Foz. Hey, I love the last that's name. right. And well, this is Paul. It's a lot longer name than Foz, but it, it had to be shortened for pronunciation. Oh, yeah, I kind of like Foz. <laughs> and right. then Paul, great to have you with us as well, brother. Thank you so much. So, I want to talk to you guys about this place and, and what this means to the locals and to the community. But first, I got to get into this burger, man. So this is the Sriracha Burger, but if I'm not mistaken, Foz, you were telling me that they won, this place won Best Burger in Wake County? Overall of Wake County with the Maggie Awards, that's correct. And, and oh, wait, and oh, that's overall burgers. Some. This is just a variation of the total burger. Look at this egg yolk on here. Dude, I love, 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 love a burger with an egg on it. So I'm glad we're starting with this. And you know what I think is great about having you guys here too, is that anytime a burger like this or a, any burger gets wins an award locally, it's because the community voted for it. That's correct. So it means that you guys, everybody that loved this place, voted for the burger. So let me try to get it. Oh my gosh, this egg yolk. Let me see if go. you can fit that. Got this egg yolk's gonna splatter everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Sunday morning special. Sunday morning special? What do you mean by that? All right, here's everything that happens Saturday night. <laughs> this burger makes you feel great every day before football season starts and get your day going. This, this sounds like a man speaking from some experience over here, my Just friend. Just a tad. Wow, this is really fantastic. I see why this one this place one best burger. I want to get some info from you. But Paul, you're kind of a ringer because you helped build this place, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. And how did that start? Somebody told me it was on a napkin. There's no way you designed this place on a napkin. Well, uh, Andrew and I and Mickey have been long friends from other restaurants that they've worked at. And uh, Andrew wanted to come up with uh, something on his own. And uh, hence the name My Way Tavern. He wanted to do it his way. So he called me one day and said, hey, I'm, can you meet me? And uh, I got an idea. So we got together, bought me a couple of beers and some hair. And, We've got out some bed bags. That was the only thing you really could write on. And we grabbed a pen from a wait staff and came up with a concept. And then we found the property and uh, we both sat over the corner table and looked at it and went, what do you think? Can we pull this off? Absolutely. 
And now we're working on number four. So you're working on my way number four. It's my way number three, but the fourth. That's correct. Goodness. I, and I, you know what? But I get why. Because in being here, and maybe you can kind of touch on this, Foz. Everybody here knows each other, and it's like there's no way y'all are just related and friends out of nowhere, no. right? What happened? And that is, I mean, with my way, what's special about it? It's not just the menu. It's not just the food. The food's always amazing, but. It's with what Andrew and Nikki did by building a culture into their passion. Their passion was to having restaurants and having bars that people could come to and congregate through the best times and through the worst times. That's a good um, point. If anything man. happens in the community that's good or bad, you'll see this place packed. And it's people coming together because of what they'd instill. They built a culture that is great. And so the food's always amazing. But when you come home from a day of work, and you have things going on with your family, yeah. they also hire passionate people that care about what they serve and what they produce. And to come in here and have that type of camaraderie and to have that benchmark of, in the, within the, you know, the arena, it's the fabric of a community. Yeah. It brings everybody together and it makes you proud to be a regular and to come in and enjoy it every time. Um, matter of fact, my daughter was born in 2015. My wife had complications and she was still in the hospital. And she had to spend 10 days in the hospital. They kicked, oh my, my they kicked myself and my daughter out after three days because she was healthy. And yeah. they said, yeah. and away you go. So there I was, dad with daughter. And the first place I had brought her was right here. And I came in, took her out of the car, put her up on the bar. She met the family. Not just the regulars, but she met the My Way family. That's the incredible. owners, the staff, and this is our babysitting group. This is everything, the fabric of this community. And you know what is just incredible about that story? If you were to say on its face, hey, guy's wife just had a baby, wife's still in the hospital, guy takes baby, puts it on the counter at the bar. That sounds terrible on paper, but when you realize that this is a community and you, right. this is where you knew your support system was going to be. That's correct. And that's why you came here because you know I'm going to go to my way and I'm going to be surrounded by people that are going to support me because let's be honest, man, that's scary. Your wife's in it, complications in the hospital for well, I was scared days? to death. That's a, you know, you're a dad with a girl. You're like, what am I going to do? I see why you came here now. And meeting these people, man, it all makes sense. It all makes sense to me. It's a huge yeah. community, I and mean, it's never changed. And even the, the restaurant we did in Raleigh, it's the exact same culture there as well. Uh, they're right next to, you're right downtown college. So man. it's not picking one college, because there's so many near That's right. Raleigh. It's open doors to every collegiate fan. So it doesn't yeah. matter whether it's Wake Forest, NC State, or UNC, everybody's welcome. Everybody loves their little space. And they enjoy themselves. It's you know, I'm getting I'm getting some some vibes and energy here that I I can't say I've ever gotten before, and and especially coming from 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 regulars and locals. And I'll give you that it is I I've never seen anyone build a restaurant and then also recreate the same restaurant in other places because you know what you know what you're doing in those communities. You're not just building restaurants. You're building community centers, man. That's correct. You're building companionship. So now this all makes sense. The whole my way thing and. That is just, that's profound to me. It's not, hey, let's yeah. open a restaurant here, open a restaurant. No, let's open a place for a sense of community in this town. And one of the things that's really proud about my way as well is Nikki and Andrew over the years is the local high schools, the local sports teams um, with Ting Park right down the street and all these tournaments coming in. They support and they sponsor and they host events and put their money into the community to mm -hmm. let the lacrosse teams, the football teams, the baseball teams have an avenue to generate income to That's let great, these man. kids go out and do what they should be doing, yeah. which is living a good life and having an opportunity for college and for scholarships and education. Yeah. And they support it 100% and they always have. I gotta tell you guys, this is the first time I've seen a place that is not replicating a restaurant, they're replicating a culture. And I'll That's tell great. you what, let's cheers to that, man, you guys. Absolutely. This is definitely the place to be when you come to town, so cheers. Cheers. Because this is definitely one of America's best restaurants.